Senators, I, uh, of all the votes that we take, sometimes these votes are the most important votes because they have the highest impact on our communities. And while there are many affluent areas of California, I don't represent one of them. The people that elected me are hardworking Californians that frequently live from paycheck to paycheck. They work very hard and they learn and they must live within their means. And yet, we went to the public and we said, as a body, that we needed Prop 30 because we needed more money for higher education. That these were important things that we cared about students and we wanted to ensure that our youth and anyone else that wanted to increase and improve their station in life, that we would help lift them to get to the next level by giving them that opportunity. If Dr. Ferrara was on that same path, I'd be the first I vote here. But I suspect I'll be the first no vote. And the reason why is she's been a champion and a leader in the movement to raise salaries and perks for CSU chancellors and high-ranking officials. I don't care about that. What I care about the students, what I want is I want them to have more access, more opportunity, more livelihood, more future. This is the wrong path. We can't, every time we give more money to the CSU system, have them work diligently to ensure that pay raises are their top priority. That's not my top priority. My top priority are students. I want those students to have opportunity, I want them to graduate on time, and I want them to come to a healthy environment where there's plenty of jobs and plenty of opportunity here in California. And to turn around and say we don't have enough money for our education system and that this year we may have to backfill, what, so the chancellors live lavish lives? Look, I want talent, but I don't want to be extorted. Dr. Ferrara has had a tin ear to our students. She's had a tin ear to the communities that we represent. Now, listen, if you represent a hoity-toity area and there's nothing wrong with that, and I wish every California lived there and had that opportunity, then by all means, this is a great move. But that's not who I represent. I represent hardworking Californians that have to live on a budget. And I expect the CSU system to live on a budget too. And when everyone else is taking a pay cut or losing their jobs in California, she was on the front lines fighting for increases for them. Not increases for opportunity for our students, but increases in opportunity for the chancellors and high paid executives. It's time that we back the little person. It's time that we give them opportunity. You know, I, I get these are difficult jobs, but these people make more than double and sometimes triple what the governor of California makes. Governor does, makes $168,000, $172,000. These people are, are far in excess of that. They don't need another raise. They need to focus on getting our kids out and, and becoming productive citizens in our society. And for those reasons, I'm gonna to side today with the students and I urge a no vote.